Hello, my dear student teachers. How are you? Or oh, I think you all of I you are fine. I am also your fine due to lockdown period for the COVID nineteen. Uh, we are also fine. So we have to take the precautions for. Uh, we have to stay at our home. Uh, so for our safety life. Thank you. So today during this lockdown period, we will discuss about uh, our PC two paper, the uh, unit seven. That is the uh, development of listening and speaking skills. How the listening? You know that language uh, leads the four basic skills of skills. These skills are also known as the listening, speaking, reading, and writing. These four skills must have to develop so that the child can also be well versed about his language. So. Regarding to that context, we have to discuss. I am Dr. Santosh Kumar Paridya, senior teacher educator, Diet Niagara Trasunakla. So, uh, you know that uh, the language in the primary classes, primary school teachers, you can find they are also starting from that also the reading and writing of a child. The reading and writing, if you can start, it is a constraint for the child for development of the language because. language need a comprehensive need a sequential order that is also your listening after listening must have to proceed the speaking then listening speaking integration then also reading writing and also the integration of the skills so that a child can develop in language so that's why the four fold of objectives of language teaching you can find what are the four objects objectives of language teaching that is semantic phonetic graphic phonetic com graphic what is semantic you know that semantic means it is also the understanding for the development of understanding so what is phonetic phonetic is leads to the your spelling and also pronunciation similarly graphic related to your writing and phonetic com graphic that is reading if we can develop these four objectives of language teaching then a child can also be developed in language so that you know that these languages are also in the graded order in the specific order if you click proceed so then we can find the language development so you know that out of the four basic skills if we are emphasizing that first the listening and speaking then to the reading and writing so that's why you can classify these four skills the four basic skills can be classified into two heads one is also known as the primary skills and another is also your secondary skills what are the primary skills you know that what are the primary skills can you tell me so you know that that is also your listening and speaking because at the initial stage the listening and voracious listening is essential for the child for development of his language for the and also with respect to his speaking similarly the speaking is also accelerated towards the development of listening so they are also an integration skills these are also essential that's why these are also these are the initial stage of the skills these that's why they are known as the primary skills so you can find the secondary skills the after listening and speaking development we have to switch over to the reading and writing so the reading and writing these are known as the secondary skills of language so in these four orders we can find listening speaking reading and writing on the other hand if we can classify these four skills of language into two heads can you find can you say these are the receptive skills and productive skills which skills are receptive and productive skills receptive skills and which are also the productive skills the listening and reading are the receptive skills and the speaking and writing are also known as the productive skills okay so uh, you know that why listening and reading are known as the receptive skills listening and reading because we collect the information in the communication cycle we collect the information the ideas the emotions the feelings so that's why these are known as the receptive skills on the other hand a person who receives the message definitely he can transmit the message to the others then we can say that it is a communication process so that's why the speaking and writing skills are essential so these are we are producing something else so that's why these are known as the productive skills productive skills 
So if we can find that command over the language, what are the basic commands on the language for development of the skills that is also known as the passive command and active command. Which are the also the passive commands by understanding and reading. These are essential for the receptive process. So these are known as the passive command. And also you can go to the other hand that is active command by spelling and writing. It can create something else. It can produce the process. So that's why these are known as the active command. We have to follow these commands while we are developing the listening and speaking skills in among our learners. So, what are the basic purpose of listening and speaking skills? Why a child can also develop listening and speaking skills? What the initial stage also? Because he can introduce something else. He can introduce himself before others and also in where he can search something else. He can ask so many questions regarding any particular matter. So, that's why he can inquire something else. And also after receiving the message, he can describe the phenomena, he can describe the matter before others. So that's why the listening and speaking skill is essential. And narrating, he can narrate something else, he can collect the information and he can also request, polite request, just like how to request others. So he can also behave like that. And also inviting, complaining and offering. He can offer something else, he can complain, he can also complain against also others about his which about his queries so that's why all these things we have to develop the listening and speaking skills then if these uh, these are the basic purpose of listening and speaking skill why why uh, what are the sub skills of listening the listening for specific information the skill the specific information he can collect and also general understanding is essential in his daily life situations. So that's why listening must be developed. Predictive listening. So predictive listening that means he can predict after listening something else then he can also predict what will be the consequence, what will be the conclusion uh, after that. So that's why the predictive listening must be developed. Inferential listening. Next is inferential listening. You can find that inferential listening is also your uh, after uh, 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 listening something else, he can inference, he can draw the, the cream, the gist, gist of the fact. And listening for pleasure, everybody, you know that, my dear student teachers, you know that also your pleasure. For pleasure, we are also listening something else. If the child is very fond of to listen the story from his grandpa, grandma, so that's why we have to listen for the pleasure. Then also your intensity listening. Intensive listening is very deep listening, very bit by bit listening and also evaluative listening. Evaluative listening, you know that also that evaluative listening is after listening he can judge which is good, which is bad and also which is true, which is false. Everything he can judgment, the judgment at his own angle. He can judge everything. Then, sub skills of speaking, you know that uh, that is appropriation, accuracy, and fluency, clarity, good pronunciation, lucidity. These are the sub skills of speaking. So, good pronunciation, if you can develop the speaking, see, good pronunciation can be developed. He can pronounce properly, which is also the rising tone, which is the falling tone, and wherever also the uh, in his speaking, how can in the he can in a comprehensive manner he can also speak something else and give the accuracy, the correctness he can also give in his speaking. And also he can maintain the fluency in his uh, speaking. Proper fluency is also essential. That should be, clarity should be there, bias clarity and also the speaking clarity should be there. So that's why these sub skills must be developed among our learners. Then for to fulfill this purpose, what type of activity a teacher must have to transact inside or outside the classroom? You know that the first thing is storytelling. What is storytelling? These students are also very fond of uh, listening the stories. The stories you can find that is also your uh, uh, you can select the story. The first step is also you select the story. The story must be very short story and it must have to do two three characters related to your birds, animals. These are the stories. And while you are presenting the story, you have to. Uh, your voice modality should be there 
and also you have to act your body actions and also your gestures postures should be presented while you are telling the stories then also you have to ask some predictive questions to accelerate your uh, uh, stories and also you have to finally you can ask the students your judgment questions your reality questions or they will, you can draw the moral ideas after listening the stories you can collect from your students similarly the general general is also another activity you can find that also this activity in general suppose i can give an example in general i can say that my name is santosh uh, i am from uh, nayagarh so what's about you similarly you can give the chain to another person similarly to the another person see in a circular manner it can also move so this is known as the general then total physical response that is known as the tpr what is tpr in tpr form you can find these some action songs you can throw the body and body gestures and postures you have to act before the learners so it will be meaningful for them and because the uh, rhymes recitation is enjoyment is important the meaning is not important so that's why just i can give an example of tpr that is also your jani jani yes papa eating sugar no papa telling lies no papa open your mouth ha Ah, ah. your body action should be there with your recitation of the rhyme that is known as the tpr the role play you know that role play role play is also very a uh, vital activity for development of listening and speaking skill a teacher must have to act as the director he can provide the dialogue card to the students on the basis of his uh, uh, characters so then the students he can practice the mock mock practice should be there then also the students can perform their role play then so the dialogue can also be between the student and students then it is known as the role play then mental talk you have to conduct also the mental talk before talking something else the student must have to think something else and riddles you know that riddles riddle is also very important in odia language in other language also riddles are also conducted so these riddles uh yeah i can give an example of the riddles if you uh, cut my fast i can sit on your head if you again cut my fast then i can move everywhere who am i tell my dear student teachers what is that yes yes you try try your level best yes uh oh yes you know that that is also your chair good good we give give class to all of you thank you then also reading a poem reading a poem aloud the poem that is the basic difference the recitation of the rhyme and also the reading a poem poem is meant for the understanding but uh, uh, action song is meant also the that is uh, for uh, also your known as the enjoyment so reading a poem is important so if you can read a poem before the students aloud so that they can also Uh, follow follow of the teacher and also they can also in the proper rhythm proper proper rhythm should be followed by the students and accordingly they can perform similarly introducing others self introduction you are introducing your friend or you are you are introducing self before your any uh, unknown friends and also you are introducing your friends uh, before your mothers like this these are the introduction you have to conduct and also taking about your friends schools parents like this so about different component you can also talk among your friends among your uh, uh, peers so that's why it is also essential for development of the listening and speaking skill then listen and repeat if you can listen then you you can also repeat the same thing for the follow of your students so thank you